every estuary in the UK uh, used to contain seagrass. 50% of those, those estuaries no longer contain seagrass. They're no longer present because we, we've damaged the water quality, we've, we've damaged the coast through coastal development. Those seagrasses created a habitat that was fundamentally important. When you lose that seagrass, then you're just left with a, with a mud bottom. So we had a, an epic season of seed collection last summer. We had volunteers from the Channel Islands all the way up to the Isle of Man. So we're running the UK's first major seagrass restoration project. So we're trying to plant two hectares of seagrass in West Wales. If we can achieve it at that scale, then we can achieve it at a much bigger scale. And that's where the, the actual ambition lies, to, to bring back the tens of thousands of hectares of seagrass that we've actually lost in the, in, in the UK. So I'm out on this boat today planting seagrass on our two hectare restoration project. So I've been into primary schools where I've had about nearly 2,000 volunteers helping fill these small little bags. They needed filling with sand and the primary school kids have been amazing at doing so. And then once we're out on the boat out here, we've been feeding these ropes off the back of the boat getting that seagrass finally in the water, which is just incredible after nearly a year of struggling to get them here. So it's a really good feeling. Now that all the seeds are in the water, we hope that we get a nice big thick meadow that it grows and flourishes, that the fish start coming in and making use of this really good habitat. And hopefully this will be a start for many more restoration projects around the UK and around the world.